kind of welcomed me into your world. <laughs> I know. This is, this is where I'm living right now. The stage is quite small here. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's, well, you know, it's just the one set. We don't have to, to think about, you know, other scenes in other places or anything. So, and then the detail, you know, is just so extraordinary. This woman, this character, is a real uh, scavenger. Just to give people a sense of what the, the play is, if yeah. you play Trailer Trash. All right. And uh, someone who thinks they have a, an amazing work of art. Jackson yeah, I've Bonham. found in a junk store uh, a painting that she believes uh, is by Jackson Pollock. And Ian McDiarmid. An absolutely lovely man and a wonderful actor. Uh, plays the ex-rector of the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and he comes to evaluate the and, authenticity. And he has preconceptions about you because of, of the way you are, the way you look, and how you live. Oh, it's a real clash of, of class, of education. It does come to blows, essentially. <laughs> yeah. Can I ask you, sitting here talking to you, I've heard so much about your voice uh -huh. and about what it's like. It is exactly like people say. It's an extraordinary voice. I have a 26-year-old daughter who's quite an extraordinary singer-songwriter. When she was little, we'd go to the grocery store together, and I, it was a time when I was I had a lot of big films out, and I was pretty much hassled. So I thought one day I'd put on a wig, you know, some sort of red page boy, you know, kind of looking thing, so that I would be pass unrecognized. But Rachel ran away from me in the grocery store. I went, Rachel, come back, please. And this guy came over and said, it worked a lot better if you kept your mouth shut. And I said, yeah. You rumbled, <laughs> just because of the voice. But we have actresses 